Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Brit Reacts and today we are reacting to Falling in Reverse. The rhymes with rug in me is you. Let's see what they have to say. What's happening? Oh, I thought my audio went out. I heard a knock upon my door the other day. I opened it to find that staring in my face. The feel of mortal stock and still reverberates. Everywhere I go, I drag this coffin just in case. I wonder what Ronnie thinks when he looks back and sees the heavy eyeliner in these videos. Like it is just so, I mean, the, I said this in the last one um, of the original videos of theirs that I watched that I really appreciate the evolution. Um, he looks younger now than he does in this video, which is nuts. Um, <laughs> this is so crazy to me. So you guys did let me know in the last video. Okay. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have reacted to quite a few now at this point of falling in reverses music videos i started with the remastered stuff not understanding that it was remastered from this this like genre era of falling in reverse um so it has been like a pleasant surprise to me you guys also let me know in the comments that the current band this band that i'm going to be looking at in this video was like a prop band like something that the record label put together to be behind ronnie to give him a band um knowing that he was always going to be the front man so the the members that i see in the current stuff are not the same men in this video which is like mind-blowing to me um but super typical in the music industry because it's all a business and it's a machine so i get it um but yeah, I just like the way, the way they changed is so crazy. Also, I thought my audio went out at the beginning of the video. Why did it get quiet like that? I was like, uh oh, I'm gonna have to like pause this, stop this video and figure out what's wrong with my recording equipment. No, it was the video, so that was cool. All right, let's keep going. I'm so up in the sky off of misery. Can't you see that the rug in me is you? So basically, I feel like I don't know if I caught this in the in the in the first the first time I heard this song was the remaster version. It was slowed down and it felt super like haunted and and um, like really deep. But I don't know if I caught. I don't know. I don't remember if I caught these lyrics or not. But basically, is he? I mean, basically, he's saying like you're the best and the worst thing that happened to me. Like you make me miserable, but I want you around kind of thing. I wonder. Yes. <laughs> um, I love, love, love that in the earlier years, everything seems to be more light and, and, and leaning towards comedy. Um, this video is very, it's like funny, you know, they have the judge and all the bailiffs and the, and the, and the officers and things like that. And it just seems like it's more, comic relief then you know the words are the words are still the same message and the words still mean what they mean but it's making it a little lighter with the funny visual is what i'm trying to say let's keep going i got these questions always running through my head so many things that i would like to understand if we are born to die and we all die to live then what's the point I do remember hearing that the first time. If we're all, if we all are born to unalive, to be unalive, then and we all 
like the other way around. Like that's such a deep line. Hold on, listen to it. Listen to it. Boy, I'm living like a thing just contradicts. <sighs> and we so many things that I would like to Here understand. If we are born to die and we all die to live. If we are all born to not be alive and we all are not alive to live. Like that's such a deep, deep, deep lyric. And it like, you almost miss it because the it's an up-tempo song, you know? And I think a lot of times people don't um, maybe pay as much attention to songs that are in a, a faster tempo as quickly as they would to a song that's in a slower ballad form because it maybe is triggering or uh, pulling at their heartstrings a little differently. But I love that they, that Ronnie's idea to remaster the songs. And so far, the remaster songs I have heard have been slowed down and really put into like this opera classical rock like ballad. <laughs> um, and so I actually feel like I appreciate the lyrics more and I, I'm more um, susceptible to slow down and pay attention than I would have been if I listened to these first. You know what I mean? I like stumbled upon the remastered first which I kind of appreciate so but the message is still the same it's is why I said all of that to say So I guess my question is, can these people actually play these instruments? Are they literally like paid actors or are they just like they were just hired to come on and be his background support when he really kind of carried the band? Like, let me know in the comments, because now I'm like, is he actually really playing able to play the guitar like that? I don't know. <laughs> Um, thoroughly enjoy Ronnie and his like rebellious teenage boy punk rock face truly enjoy it because guess what he's still just as hot as he is today back then like look at that face look at those lips like are you kidding me what uh, anyway sorry got a little distracted yeah I think the, the cool thing here is that no matter what kind of music you put these lyrics over there's they're good songs like it doesn't matter what the beat is underneath it. It doesn't matter what the visual looks like. The lyrics are still phenomenal. Um, and I really appreciate that because, you know, this song could resonate with a different group of people where the remaster can resonate with a whole different fan base of people. And we've all united over the same lyrics. Let me also know in the comments, does he, what, which one does he perform? Like when he performs this song live, does he re perform the remastered or this one or a mashup of both? Like I'm interested to know. All right, another really good one. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.